has been very well said that when we own our bread, nobody can steal our peace. A very good morning to our revered chief guest, notable guest of honor, our honorable principal ma'am, worthy teachers and dear students. On the occasion of 6th International Yoga Day, I, on the behalf of our Scholars Rosary family, heartily welcome you all to our webinar, which is a priceless experience of reconnecting with your mind, body and soul. Now, I humbly request our Honorable Principal Ma'am to formally address the gathering with her encouraging books. Good morning and a very warm welcome to our dear students, parents, teachers, staff and all the audience watching us on this bright morning. Welcome to our International Yoga Day event. I take this opportunity to specially welcome our chief guest of the day, Dr. Markande Ahuja, a renowned and respected ophthalmologist of our city and a vice chancellor of our Gurugram University. We are grateful that you could be present with us today to address our audience. I would also like to extend a hearty welcome to our guest of honor, Ms. Claudia, celebrity actress and yoga and nutrition expert. I'm sure that the audience and our students are eager to hear from you and also learn some yogic asanas with your help today. We are making the sixth yoga day in an extraordinary times. Usually yoga day is about public events, mass participation. This year, yoga day goes indoors as our prime minister gave us the theme for this year's yoga day, yoga at home, yoga with family. To bridge the distance between mind and body, yoga acts as a multidimensional solution. And in this time of distancing, yoga brings things together. Therefore, the physical distancing imposed due to the outbreak of the deadly virus should not dampen our spirit or affect our enthusiasm while we observe the yoga day. There are times of distancing, but do you know that yoga is what that ends distance. Yoga joins or brings things together. Yoga not only ends the distance between the mind and body and also our expectations and reality. Dear audience, this is to be notified that yoga will have special role in preventive health care after the coronavirus pandemic subsides. It also ends the distance between the life we have and the life we want to have and makes the life journey smooth and more enjoyable. We are almost three months into the national lockdown to slow the spread of the COVID-19 virus. All of us have been beaten and plunged by the battery of news, data, statistics, claims, despair about what's happening where and to whom. Everything may seem grim as people around us suffering either due to illness or poverty. It's been exhausting and frightening, even for those not in direct health emergency. Every once a little or a lot, on edge as we battle the silent enemy invading our land. In the face of this severe crisis confronting humanity today, we can best negotiate the challenge we face when we are guided by hope, not with fear. Hope is the only decision which can add to our potential to win this disastrous challenge. This is a revolution open to all, which can make our society globally transformed. We as team of motivators, management, teachers, staff, students, and our dear parents take up this initiative together and pledge to make ourselves happy and healthy, to fight out any and every challenge coming our way. Our students and teachers have been very cooperative for the past two months. It is rightly said that learning and education can never be stopped. Students have been benefiting from online classes, exams, and other co-curricular activities. Dear parents, we have tried our best to remove the distance and be present in your homes, through your computer screens, 
in order to better educate and nurture our children. But we also firmly believe that holistic development of a child means to balance between their classes and extracurricular activities, which should also include some relaxation time. Our teachers who have also been working around the clock must be glad to receive a short break. Please show the slide. Keeping in mind, I announce the launch to you all, Scholars Rosary Wellness Week, a week dedicated to taking care of the overall well-being of our students, teachers, and parents. Through this composition of Wellness Week from 21st to 27th June, we all will motivate and re-energize ourselves with yoga and Zumba sessions, expert nutrition advices, eye care sessions, and counseling sessions with the presence of experts from the medical and administrative fields. Every day of this week from five to seven in the evening, so my dear audiences, please log on to our live sessions every day as we have specially curated them to benefit you all to the maximum. At 5 p.m., we will have a yoga session of different types each day based on person's individual needs like restorative yoga, vinyasa, pranayam, yoga nidra, and we also have Zumba aerobic classes. These are our yoga experts and teachers who will be demonstrating the sessions live for you or to practice and comfort at the comfort of your home. Then at 6 p.m. we will have special talk by the eminent doctors, psychologists and eye specialists who will answer all your questions and concerns. Please do keep a close watch on our official Facebook page as the day schedule will be posted there. Lastly, since today is Father's Day, I wish a happy Father's Day to all the fathers present with us today. Dear students, this is your chance for another competition. Compose your unique slogan for a video composition of you and your father. My daddy, my lifeline, and yoga is our time. Please send in your entries to win the exciting prizes. I would like to end with a motivational quote इस विपदा की घड़ी में जागो और उठो और अपने को स्वस्थ बनाओ ऐसा उम्मीदों का धुआं फैलाओ कि इस डर को कोसों दूर भगाओ थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर वाचिंग अस एंड बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ द इवेंट दिस मॉर्निंग थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम अ डॉक्टर एजुकेशनिस्ट सोशल एक्टिविस्ट फिलेंथ्रोपिस्ट राइटर एंड एविड रीडर Dr. Markhande Ahuja is an eminent eye surgeon with more than 2 lakh eye surgeries to his credit. He is Honorable Vice Chancellor of Gurugram University with an additional charge of Indira Gandhi University in Mirapur, Dewar. It's also my privilege to sincerely, warmly welcome Dr. Anju Ahuja, a renowned gynecologist of our city and also the president of Inner Wheel Club of Rotha. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us today. Sir and ma'am, it's a pleasure to have you today amongst us as our esteemed guest. And so, with all the deference, now I request Dr. Markande Ahuja to grace our event with your powerful and influential words. Respected Principal ma'am, the staff, students and parents belonging to such an esteemed institution of our city, Scholars Rosary. First of all, I congratulate the team Scholar Rosary for organizing such a wonderful show on International Yoga Day and today incidentally is also International Music Day and also the largest day in the Northern Hemisphere and also the solar eclipse is coming up in just one hour or so. Friends, in fact, I listened to the music in the morning I joined in the beginning of the session. The first shaloka itself says, Asto ma sadgame, tamso ma jyotirgame, 
मृत्यु और मां अमृतम गमे यानी अंधकार से प्रकाश की ओर ले चलो असत्य से सत्य की ओर ले चलो और मृत्यु से मोक्ष की तरफ ले चलो कहना आसान है ले चलो पर लेकर कौन जाएगा लेकर जाएगा योग जैसे साइंस में हम प्रैक्टिकल्स करते हैं प्रैक्टिकल लैब्स आर फॉर साइंस सिमिलरली द प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज योग सो लेट अस ऑल डू दिस प्रयोग एंड योग सो दैट वी कैन यू सी हेल्थ इज फोर पैरामीटर्स वन इज फिजिकल मेंटल सोशल एंड स्पिरिचुअल वी एज डॉक्टर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स only focus on the physical aspect but ironically the mental the social and the spiritual they are left behind yoga is a complete cure it's a holistic approach it cures all the four aspects of health and therefore worldwide yoga is being adopted i personally thank Preeti ma'am and the team scholar Rosary for taking an initiative and organizing a seven days long health awareness week, which I personally feel will go a long way in helping not only the students and parents of Scholars Rosary or those who are associated with Scholars Rosary, but as it is throughout the country, it is an awareness program. But ironically, most of us. understand yoga as only postures believe me it is not postures or asanas it has eight arms to it the first one being yam yam means that we have external disciplines and they it includes five parameters the five parameters the first most is ahimsa means non violence and students as all of you know gandhi ji's the most important tool for indian independence was ahimsa that is non violence and the second one is satya that is truthfulness now see how important satya and ahimsa are to our life which were the tools of our independence movement and even you go back to the olden days mahabharata you know all when pandavas were going to dronacharya for the teachings the first day dronacharya told them to remember satya bolo yani truthfulness next day dronacharya ji asked all the pandavas and the kauravas what he taught yesterday sab ne kaha satya bolo satya bolo jab yudhishthir ki bari aayi to yudhishthir ne kuch nahi kaha dronacharya felt ke yudhishthir ko shayad samajh mein hi nahi aaya satya bolo itna mood buddhi hai तो तब युधिष्ठर ने कहा कि गुरुजी ये याद करने की चीज नहीं है ये जीवन में ढालने की चीज है ये एक अनुभव करने की चीज है ये जीवन में अपनाने की चीज है एक दिन में मैं सत्य बोलो को कैसे अपना सकता हूं सो इट्स ए लाइफ लॉन्ग जर्नी एज प्रीति मैडम राइटली पुट इट अक्रॉस कि ये लाइफ लॉन्ग जर्नी है एंड अहिंसा सत्य एंड देन अस्ते अस्ते मीन्स non stealing we need not steal anything from anywhere not only from our fellow friends but even from the country and the world and the nature stealing from nature we are paying for it in the form of covid as all of us are suffering from there and the fourth yama that means external discipline is brahmacharya we need to have chastity we need to have sexual restraint we need to have chastity of mind body and soul all combined together and the fifth arm of yamas is aprigrah meaning thereby non possessiveness that we have whatever is basic needs whatever we have with us only whatever are our basic requirements we should try to get only that from the society and from the nature and from the universe and these five believe me at this age at the school level if we do not go beyond this the niyams of, of course for internal purification the asana the postures and the pranayam the breath control which you will be learning just now from so many teachers and pratyahar which is sensory withdrawal 
meaning thereby that we withdraw all our senses and dharna is concentration it is very important that once we concentrate on something believe me we can achieve everything in our life and then finally comes the dhyan and the samadhi so basically it is eight arms but i personally feel in student life if we can have all the five external disciplines and out of them also i'll say honesty at this stage honesty for the purpose is very important at the school and college stage because if we are going to the school we are going with the purpose and that honesty should always be within us and then second thing we need to have is the courage of conviction we have to be truthful to us that if a teacher is teaching us and if we do not understand keep asking the teacher that is the courage of conviction at this age so believe me honesty for the purpose and courage of conviction are the two takeaway things which i like to give to all the students who are attending this session thank you very much preeti ma'am for making me or making me join this session and thank you all the parents for listening me so patiently and i'll end up with a bullish quote which says ganga gaya gal bandi nahi paave so so gote laiye it is in punjabi but i'll explain it to you कि हम गंगा जाकर चे सौ बार नहाए बात बनती नहीं गया गया गल बनती नहीं पर हमें सौ सौ पिंड भराई है गया में हम पिंड भराने जाते हैं गया में जाकर भी बात बनती नहीं है चाहे हम सौ सौ पिंड भराए वहां पर मस्जिद गया गल बनती नहीं पर सौ सौ नमाजा पढ़ी है पावे सौ सौ बार हम नमाजें पढ़े परंतु जाकर बात नहीं बनती बुल्ले शाह दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस बुल्ले शाह गल ओदो बनती जदो मैं अपने मुकाइये यानी जब हम अपनी आई अपनी ईगो को समाप्त करते हैं एंड बिलीव मी योगा इज वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल टू किल आर ईगो एंड इफ यू किल आर ईगो बिलीव मी वी कैन बी सक्सेसफुल इन आर लाइफ वी कैन मेक आर लाइफ मीनिंगफुल सो थैंक यू वेरी मच मैम थैंक यू वेरी मच टीम स्कॉलर रोजरी एंड थैंक यू ऑल दी पेरेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स फॉर हैविंग मी इन दिस सेशन थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू Thank you, sir, for your efficacious sayings. Have you ever felt the dance of every single cell within the muscle of our body, with the music of every breath that creates in us serenity and harmony? Well, it's the yoga. So here we present you a scintillating and tranquil yoga performance by our students. संभाले मन मंदिर में शिष्य 
presented by our students. Ms. Claudia Cicilla, our notable guest of honor, is a polished German actress and model who works mainly in the Indian film industry. Ms. Claudia started modeling at the age of 15, working for shows, involved in fashion and dancing. She was also a contestant on the Indian reality television series, Big Boss and also acted in a numerous Bollywood films. Miss Claudia is also a certified nutritionist and she's even penning down her own book called Keep Eating, Keep Losing, Weight Loss Secrets, which is another milestone in her list of achievements. We heartily welcome you, ma'am, and with all the esteem in my heart, I call you upon for your worthwhile interaction with the audience. Thank you so much for this lovely introduction. I hope I'm audible and you can see me. Please confirm. Yes, ma'am, you are. Wonderful. And uh, you know, it is so lovely. I have been like live for 10 minutes and I have seen so speech and of course kids working out and, and doing so many beautiful poses of yoga and I felt so extremely happy. So first of all, thank you, uh, Scholars Rosary and Preeti ma'am for having me here today on this International Yoga Day. I am extremely happy to hear that you are celebrating health and organizing seven days long uh, practice and, and events. That's wonderful because I think in today's time, especially uh, during this lockdown and COVID-19, we really have to uh, you know, make our health our priority and boost our immune system, which of course uh, today is Yoga Day, yoga and meditation will help us to do so as well 
and there are so many methods but uh, but probably dietary intakes and a regular workout and of course adequate sleep are the three things which we can easily take care of on our own and it doesn't cost anything and yoga is also 100% guarantee uh, that you will get all the benefits and seeing the school and pretty ma'am taking such an initiative and promoting it from the youngest because that's even the most important thing that we teach the kids uh, um, to work out regularly and and to follow a beautiful lifestyle a healthy lifestyle from the childhood from the beginning so i would like to applaud to the entire school and and to the principal and the entire team wonderful job i'm extremely happy and i'm glad to be here today We're also glad to have you here today. Thank you. Oh, now I can see you. Hi, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. So you can carry on, please. Um. All right. So uh, you have also sent me certain questions, which uh, probably you wanted to me to discuss with. So um, you mentioned about about the uh, um, yoga, the benefits of yoga and meditation. So, well, uh, you know, I believe that yoga stimulates the brain and makes it stress free, which is very important, right? And it also helps to connect the different parts of the brain and enhances the performance. So. Uh, if I have to translate it uh, for the students as a message, it will definitely help you improve the learning and your memory and also the concentration and focus. And also, you know, you, of course, it, it's a known fact that uh, yoga and meditation also helps you to deal with stress and anxiety, which will beautifully help you to relax uh, before the exams, especially because I think that's the most stressful time for, for all the students. So it's extremely beneficial. And um, so, so of course, it also, um, you know, it increases overall health and well-being and fitness. So there are endless benefits to, to yoga and meditation. And uh, of course, uh, you also asked me to talk about um, a lower... Sorry, I just interrupt. Before you go on yes. to our next question and answer, I would just like that you can generally tell us about how to, you know, have a better immunity. And then students are actually prepared with those questions. They'll, they'll okay. be here, present here with us and they would like to, you know, ask you. Wonderful. That would be great to have a conversation. So you see, um, let me start telling yeah. that, you know, I adopted yoga as my lifestyle. And uh, I have been in India now for 10 years and I'm practicing yoga and meditation very much regularly. And, you know, it helps me to really balance in my life. To, it helps me to deal with everyday challenges. So even if a negative or positive surprise, anything, you deal, deal and, and take that problem in more calmer way and more relaxed approach towards it. So that's very beneficial. Of course, um, uh, you know, as I'm exercising regularly, of course, and I'm practicing yoga as well, all the yoga poses have so much of health benefits because it strengthens all your muscles. And uh, of course, it also, uh, you know, I'm also saying that yoga and meditation has been my doctor, my secret doctor. And for the matter of fact, it is so because uh, as I mentioned, it reduces the stress and, and anxiety, which we all deal nowadays, especially in the 21st century. Also, um, you know, what is important to me and I think important to the entire world is yoga also improves the quality of sleep. And sometimes we are disturbed, sometimes, especially when we are stressed, our sleep is disturbed. And if, for example, I don't get seven to eight hours of sleep, I am like a zombie next day. So sleep is extremely important because that's the time when body recovers, when the body uh, cells, you know, uh, take rest and, and kind of nourish themselves back. So, so next day you, you wake up and you're energetic and your active level is different and your concentration and focus is also much greater. So, and of course, as, as we are talking, yoga and meditation also helps you to boost the immune system. And uh, let me give you two or three tips, which are very easy. And as, as we are staying all at home, you can definitely practice it easily. So, uh, you know, you can have garlic. Garlic um, uh, helps to reduce the inflammation. And you can include that very um, easily into your daily diet. 
turmeric, the Indian turmeric, the yellow powder, it's absolutely beneficial. For, it has anti-inflammatory uh, properties as well. So that also is, is put it in every Indian dish, which is extremely beautiful. Another tip to increase the vitamin C, which is of course also boosting your immune system, is uh, amla. Not only lemon, in fact, more than lemon, amla has more vitamin C. So you know amla probably, right? That, that um, I think gooseberry, it's called in English, and amla in, in, in Hindi. So of course, it, it's uh, not that pleasant to eat, but you can preserve it in honey and have probably one, two pieces in the morning every day. And that will also help you to increase uh, immune system. And it's uh, almost for free. And you can easily make it yourself with your mom, with your parents at home. And uh, of course, the fourth thing to boost your immune system is vitamin D. We all need it. So in case right now during lockdown, your time and walking outside is limited because of course it's dangerous and safety forced. So you can just open, slide the windows, open it up and sit, especially in the morning time uh, till nine o'clock is, is the perfect time. So slide the window, open, sit over there and take the vitamin D, take the sunlight because sunlight is the best vitamin and the natural way we can absorb vitamin D. So I think uh, during the COVID-19 and during this lockdown time, I think this will be the four tips uh, if it comes to improving your immunity system. Not saying, of course, it, has to, it, it doesn't need to be said that, that exercise comes also within because exercising and adequate sleep, it's also equally important to boost your immune system. So make a combination of good diet, regular exercise and nice peaceful sleep especially if you have so much of free time now and you you can be relaxed at home you can have a beautiful family bonding so you can change your routine you can correct a little bit of your lifestyle and uh, this this are these are amazing tremendous benefits you can have I'm yes. totally agreeable, although amla tastes bitter, but now that you have said, I'll start consuming it from today itself. And uh, so I wanted to ask a question. There are students, uh, we are quite curious about a few things. So I'll start up with myself. So my question is that uh, it, is, uh, it, is, it has been very well said that yoga brings us to the constructive path, constructive perspective. So I really wanted to know that how the meditation helps improving our behavior or how does it impact you? You know, of course, um, um, let me tell you a little bit of story before I even come to the main point. It, it has tremendous impact. It's not only, of course, makes you more patient and more relaxed. It helps to increase your focus, your concentration, especially for you students. You need to concentrate. You need to study so much and you need to prepare for your exams. So focus, concentration and, and the patience to do that and, and the relaxed state of mind to do that. So you don't have double thoughts and, and um, you can control your mind, that's absolutely very important for you. And, and meditation, sometimes even, you know, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes even 10 minutes of meditation can do wonders. So it's not about hours long like yogis do that. You don't need to go into that state. But regular, um, certain amount of time, I think 15 minutes is fair enough. If you, if you do it regularly, it has tremendous benefits. And I tell you my story, what has happened really to me. Um, so a couple of years back, I was so much into yoga and meditation. This was, in fact, yoga was the only exercise I did. And I meditated for at least like an hour every morning. And my body somehow pushed me like, you know my background, you introduced me. So I have been like Polish and German roots. I have been completely grown up in Europe till, till I was like um, 19, 18, 19. So I was absolutely non-vegetarian. And now I'm shifted to India. And then a couple of years back when I did the yoga and meditation, my body pushed me towards being completely vegetarian. And sometimes I can't believe even if it really happened to me, but for eight months I was completely vegetarian and I couldn't even stand non-veg. I couldn't even look at it. So my body just pushed me. It was not my decision. It was, it was, it was coming within me. And I think it's a miracle. And I completely give the credit to yoga and meditation because um, I believe 
you know once you are into a um, once once you are doing yoga and meditation and you are in the circle and it's a it's a regular circle it pushes your body and and shows you so much benefits which you couldn't even imagine to so definitely it's important and it's changed your behaviors it's changed your behavior not only uh, uh um like as i said focus concentration relaxation but also it it changes your behavior as in food intake you know and that's wonderful yes ma'am uh, ma'am thank you so much for this valuable advice now uh, it is totally agreeable definitely right now i uh, i move forward with further questions so students and teachers uh, please uh, put your question anybody who want to ask question ma'am we have students uh, meher dhanishta yes ma'am good morning ma'am hi dhanisha good happy morning happy happy yoga day <laughs> happy international time. yoga day <laughs> to you too yes ma'am ma'am so i have this question that uh, since a, since like obviously i have grown up in india i have seen that every every second household we have the cases of diabetes and this is like a really huge problem for india and so what are the reasons that why in the first place there are high incidence of uh, diabetes in india uh, you know um it's a very good question and um, there are basically main two reasons i would like to say one is the the diet because in indian diet there is a lot of high calorie intakes and low activity level so these are the two things which which probably we should take care of like for example everyone loves samosas every like everyone likes pakoras everyone likes a lot of fried food and and uh, though i always say indian diet it's really beautiful and it includes so many vegetables so many different dishes and india is the brand ambassador of of having vegetarian food because you have so many beautiful dishes existing but yet uh you know people tend to add the mixture people tend to add a lot of high calorie intakes food which is fried food so that i think is messing up the system a little bit and plus low activity level like for example if you are in the school i can see your teachers and 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 trying to bring the beautiful lifestyle within your life and pushing you towards yoga making sure that you are exercising making making sure you you are active throughout your your day but the moment i feel the shift changes and and the students come out from the college university university do the mbas and whatsoever education they want and finally they they pick up a job then they stop exercising at all because finally they realize oh maybe i don't have time for that so i think the thought process itself has to be changed because um, you know working out and um, active life it's not a choice it's something which has to be done like you are brushing your teeth every day you have to do exercise as well and especially nowadays we also have more and more sitting jobs right office jobs which requires you to sit 8 10 12 hours sometimes in a day that's huge amount of time and again our body is not really meant to that our body is meant to be active and now the second problem is once you get and and become diabetic so now the chances that your children and the next generation of yours um will have uh, it, it is genetically proven that you know that they might be having diabetic as well so so there are the two problems and i think if we will take control over the diet and and shift towards a more healthy and natural food um you know eat more fruits eat more veggies that will definitely improve and probably the tag that india is um epidemic diabetes is epidemic right now in india i think that's the tag so probably we will be able to get rid of it and uh, india can become more healthy and uh, having less problem with that because it's mainly sugar diabetes is mainly sugar intake right so even processed food so all the packaged food so so that is really um, not that great for for our body and that's how our body reacts showing us because any disease i'm always saying is is a, re- a reaction only saying uh, that our body is trying to communicate hey you are doing something wrong stop it wake up uh because um there are so many diseases which can be cured and diabetes is one of that i have read um, a beautiful book it's a really thick 400 pages book and and this doctor 
from America, he purely said that um, diabetes can be curable with just a diet. So even type 1 diabetes, where you need to intake the insulin, that also um, uh, has been shown great results, but just uh, having a beautiful lifestyle and changing the lifestyle, you know? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Quite prudent to be concerned about. So next up we have is our social science faculty, Ms. Pooja. Right. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, ma'am. How are you? You are looking so beautiful. I'm so <laughs> Thank charming. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, you. really. Glad to have you with us. Really. It's absolutely yes, uh, my pleasure. Yes, I have one question. Uh, as yes. I'm suffering from heart disease and uh, so many confusion I have in my mind regarding fat. Which right. fat is bad or which fat is good? Right. I can, what thing I can include in my diet or one, or so many things are there. Those doctors are saying there's not good for you and these are good for you. But I'm very much right. confused regarding these fats. So, which um, is good for you know, me or which is bad for you? I know it's quite confusing. I, I definitely feel you. I get those questions a lot. But I want you yeah. to remember two things. Um, you know, as you have a heart condition, the heart yeah. condition has not come because of the food you sometimes eat. It has come okay. because of the foods you probably eat daily on a daily basis. So you always have to analyze firstly, what is your daily intakes? What are you in, in the entire week? What are you really eating and what could go wrong with that and probably change that? Because sometimes people are saying, oh, can I have pizza once in a week? I'm saying what you're having sometimes won't kill you. What you're having okay. every day and the routine is bad, that will a little bit uh, probably cause you a little problems. So now even my father had a heart attack last year. And uh, so coming about the fats, we don't need to be uh, scared about fats. We don't need to be scared about carbs because they are good and bad as well. As you are saying, the yeah. good and bad. Now, good yeah. fat, let me tell you, good fat is the um, HDL, the LDL cholesterol and the HDL cholesterol. So that's basically the, the, the fats which you are talking about is the cholesterol level which you have to be yes. taken, taken care of. So the okay. LDL and also, so, okay, let me talk about the good one first. So HDL okay. cholesterol. Um, so, so that is like nuts, all the almonds, cashew nuts, um, walnut. Oh, I'm okay. so sorry. Wait, my alarm. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. You're audible. Yes, I am audible, yeah. but I can't see yeah, myself yeah. somehow. Okay, so okay. Um, nuts, seeds, that you should take every day. Even, you know, okay. avocado, avocado fat is really good. Um, even okay. olive oil. So you see, it comes to for oils, right? So all seeds and oh, nuts, yes. definitely, yes. It's a beautiful thing. Please have it every day. Even in the morning, don't wake up on biscuits. Wake up uh, on nuts. I'm having nuts okay. every day, like almonds and walnut and cashew nut combination with a bit of raisins. So that's something okay. which I wake up in the morning too. So cancel the biscuits. Biscuits are really not great because they are putting a lot of butter sometimes and refined oil. So it's not that great to wake up to. So I would say that you can avoid and all the mixtures you can avoid because it's purely fried. So now okay. coming to the LDL cholesterol, which people are really scared. The newest study shows that there are two types of LDL cholesterol. So one is the big and dense and one is the very tiny and small. So only one of them is, is, is the one which really um, can create blockage in your veins. So that kind of cholesterol is found in, in butter, in ghee, in uh, okay. refined oils, and yeah. definitely a fried food. Because the moment you fry the food, the, the, uh, the chemical um, thing consistency is changing. So that is something which our body is not really able to take very no. much. And, and then the causes like heart, uh, heart diseases and blood pressure and uh, so many uh, changes in our body is there because our body is not able to handle it. So anything fried, please avoid. Uh, don't have to say no to that. You yes, probably yes, should yes. avoid. I'm not saying completely delete it and never see it again. Otherwise, you will start having cravings because that's the only thing you will be able to think about. And that's we also don't want you to struggle. 
but definitely it should not be included in your daily diet it should be like yes. a sometimes okay a little bit and the quantity yes. should yes. also be like like one handful of snack of something that's more than yes, enough yes, 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 um so so i think that will be my advice to you yes thank you very much i'm going to shift myself to nuts <laughs> thank no, you nuts, so much definitely and and please have a lot of yes. uh, instead fruits. of biscuits and packet food yes cancel yes. packets food have more fruits yes. have more veggies with your yes, daily yes. dal roti sabzi have a plate of a little salad cucumber tomato onion yes. have the raw salad as well have fruits every day as a snack make those little changes as a habit and of course please exercise because exercise also will help oh, yes. you to reduce your cholesterol level so be it yoga right. be it walking brisk walking be it anything what body allows you to do um yes. So, so, so yes. that also is absolutely bad. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so yes, much. Thank you, you so much okay. for such an informative yeah. answer. Uh, quite prudent enough to uh, follow this advice. So next up we have is uh, my fellow batchmate Varid Munzil. Up to the question. Good morning, ma'am. Hi, Varid. How are you? Good morning, ma'am. First of all, happy International Yoga Day, and it is a great pleasure talking to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ma'am, so ma'am, my question is that, like, in the time of this Corona pandemic, we are so much right. stressed out, and we yes. cannot concentrate properly on our studies for long hours, which we need, which is the need of the hour. So, ma'am, please tell the postures of yoga which can help us to increase our concentration. To increase your concentration, definitely savasana. You know the relaxation pose. So more than that, you see, poses will only be effective, more effective for your concentration. if the breathing technique become behind it's it's um, it's correct so you know the rhythmic deep slow breathing really helps you to stimul stimulate your brain and uh, makes it stress free and that's what we want we want to remove that stress we want to remove that disturbance behind why you can't concentrate and that meditation will help you so concentrate on your breathing and even while you are doing yoga and i will demonstrate a little yoga later on so while you are doing make sure inhaling exhaling while changing the poses um it's done correctly take few breaths so so the breathing throughout should be very natural and slow and deep and that will help you to relax the entire muscles and of course there are so many uh, exercises like the savasana then there is the cobra pose and even for concentration i think the camel pose where you where you are touching a kind of bending backwards and touching with your hands to heels and staying in that position also is is very good for concentration so i think um uh even downward facing dog so 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 there are many in fact you know yoga has been designed such way that uh, there are endless poses and all of them are beneficial and for your concentration i am saying please concentrate on your breathing because irregular breathing is causes the physical the emotional the mental problems and 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 kind of uh, imbalances us and and causes also the inner conflicts right within us because our mind is confused but if you are doing yoga and meditation regularly all together it doesn't really matter which poses your um, body mind connection will be stronger your concentration will be stronger because your mind will be clear and the stress will be removed and that's what we want so i hope uh, that was um, uh, i could answer your question i could thank help you, you a little bit with that thank you ma'am it helps a lot ma'am i will just apply in my daily life regularly thank you yes please absolutely thank you. right ma'am uh, and i really hope that all of the advices which you gave would prove to be uh, fruitful and beneficial for all our audiences watching this session and so now uh, i would i would request you to commence with our yoga session now the right. most awaited part of our event <laughs> is that <laughs> that's now wonderful you can see like everybody is uh, ready with their yoga mats and everybody is excited for it so uh, i was please begin with it now wonderful i was about to ask i have to shift my yes. camera camera just a little bit but i'm happy to hear that everyone is going to join me because i was excited as well so i'll just put my camera a little more down so you will be able to see me and my frame so probably like this and i will be also explaining exactly what i am doing 
I think we need a bigger frame. I think that should be enough. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Works fair enough. Yeah. And of course, I'm still audible, right? You can hear me because I have my airpods. Yes, so even if you're audible. Okay, like a little bit shift. Great. So I hope you are having your yoga mat because that's the best benefit of yoga is that you don't need any kind of equipment, just yoga mat, a little bit of space in your house and you are done. So you do it every day with your home, in your home, with your family, with your parents. And it's absolutely beneficial. So let's start. I prepared. I have seen your flexibility level is absolutely wonderful because the yoga practices you are doing and I have uh, I had the chance to see was amazing. So I prepared for you few exercises and few pauses which will go smoothly like in Surya Namaskar, but we will do warrior pose and half moon, moon pose. I will explain you. So let's relax, take deep breath, put your feet together, hands by your side and shoulder relaxed. So now inhale, and place your palms just in front of your chest. We will come to the prayers pose. Breathe there for a couple of seconds. And while exhaling, we will bring our arms up and all the way back and bend. Beautiful. Now from this pose, bring your arms all the way down. Place the hands next to your feet and now bring your forehead to your shin just in case your hamstrings are slightly tight because it's morning, you can bend it a little bit. Otherwise, if you are fine, just place your forehead on your shin. Stay here, breathe. Wonderful. Now bring your right leg all the way back. Drop your uh, uh, knee down. And now we will come to the half moon position, but that I mean bring your arms up, palms together. So your arms are up and back. Relax, breathe. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings. It's a beautiful one for the morning. Now exhale. And calm down, place your palms next to your feet. And we will come to the plank position. By that, I mean bring your left leg all the way back. And now plank position. Let me also quickly explain you. Your feet should be together. Your arms should be aligned with your shoulders so you're not in front and not on the back. You are just aligned so the hand is under your shoulder and your back, you are not arching. Your spine is neutral, your pelvis is tucked in. So this is the correct position of plank. So now go down all the way push-ups. If you can, you can drop your knee and then do push-ups, okay? So now inhale and cobra. In cobra, feet together, elbows are slightly bent, and breathe. Enjoy that stretch. It's lovely for the lower back. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Now while exhaling, tuck the feet, bring the hips all the way up and we will come to the downward facing dog. Have a couple of breaths here. Don't rush the movement, enjoy. As I'm saying, breathing is very, very important. So make sure you're breathing naturally. And now lift your le right leg up. So your feet, hip and shoulder is aligned. Wonderful. Now bring the leg all the way up in front, in between your palms. This leg, Pichavala leg stays straight. Now we will come to the warrior position. And by that, I mean this leg, front leg, right leg is 90, 90 degree angle. Left leg, my left leg, knee is straight. And now we will bring our arms up 
till the shoulder level beautiful are you enjoying it can you do it all and breathe have couple of breaths now like a windmill we will place our right arms next to our right feet from the inner side and your left arm bring all the way up over your head that's another beautiful stretch make sure you are trying to reach something with your hand push your hands feel that stretch here wonderful now what we will do is we will straighten the right leg we will shift our body weight in the middle so the feet is pointing straight the direction and we will touch the head towards the mat hands by your side of course knees are straight and you are breathing enjoy the stretch just like this come up all the way up and now shift your weight towards the left leg and put your palms together so your feet is in between your palms now we will come to the plank position again so bring your left foot this time all the way behind as i mentioned be before your um, hands are under your shoulder align come to the perfect plank position now you can drop your knee and do the push up otherwise if you are comfortable stay up and do push up all the way down now inhale and come up that's cobra feet together and elbow slightly bent catch your breath inhale exhale in a very natural way and now while exhaling we will come to the downward facing dog position bringing the hips up and the heel on the mat touching the mat wow wonderful stretch i know the hamstrings are a little tight in the morning but try to push yourself and you are strong on the shoulder as well now bring your right leg up sorry not right left leg up right we have already done so sorry left leg up so the foot hips and shoulders are aligned now bring it all the way up place your foot in between your uh, palms come up we will come to the warrior two position so again my left knee is 90 degree my right knee is straight now raise your arms at the shoulder level and breathe it's a wonderful posture very beneficial make sure your shoulders are open now place your left palm next to your left leg and the upper hand bring it over to your shoulder so again your upper hand shoulder hip and foot is all aligned that's a beautiful stretch let's stay in this position for just a little while enjoy the stretch and gauge the core now bring your palm back make sure the feet is in between your palms now we will bring the right foot all the way back all the way in front so both the feet are in between your hands and now again we will touch the shin with our forehead so exhale touch beautiful now bring your arms all the way up and back now inhale 
and let's come to the prayers pose. So bring your um, palms in front of your chest, breathe normally, and then place slowly your palms next to your body, next to your side. So this was my morning routine. This was few pauses, which I hope you enjoyed. And uh, it's, a, it's a routine of exercises which I incorporate the warrior pose, half moon. You have downward facing dogs, which is again very beneficial for, for your uh, back. You have cobra position, which is very beneficial for your lower back pain. So I don't think so kids are having it. But uh, definitely it's very beneficial. So this routine you can do three, four, five times. It was an entire one session like a Surya Namaskar, but I added a few pauses within it to make it more advanced. Of course, Surya Namaskar, if you will do and you, any which way teachers are teaching you such beautiful yoga every day, if you will continue with that, I think you will be definitely fit and healthy and your lifestyle is also going to change. And that's what we really want on this International Yoga Day. So I hope you exercise, you enjoyed exercising with me, and I hope it was beneficial for you and you learn a little bit more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Actually, we really benefited with the session, I hope, and I really wish to thank our chief guest and our guest of honor for their esteemed presence in our session to make it more brilliant and knowledgeable. And I thank all the teachers and all the students and all the parents who joined today and made our session worthwhile. Your presence makes it more successful. And exactly now we are going to go ahead with the journey towards the good health. And before we go, we would like to end the session with a hearty gratitude and we'll all go ahead with the national anthem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for having me. And uh, enjoy your yoga day. And it's a beautiful initiative which you took seven days of healthy routine and you are teaching and encouraging the children. Ma'am, it's absolute uh, salute to you and what you all do to the youngsters and what all you do to the society and the community. It's absolutely remarkable. Beautiful job, wonderful initiative. So hands up and be clap. So thank you so much once again for having me. And you have absolutely amazing International Yoga Day. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you so much. Let's just keep our hand on our chest. We cannot stand. So just to, we'll pay homage to our national anthem like this. Um, um.